Hello, Flossy. Greetings. I'm Laura. And Joe. Welcome to the Slovak Farm. This is the farm where we grow cross-stitch. One stitch at a time. Today is Tuesday, December 13th. Uh, yesterday, I had my Ladies Guild church. Church Ladies Guild uh, Christmas party. Got home. We were going to film Flossy. And we discovered the webcam is toast. We tried to Actually, do... we <laughs> discovered the webcam was becoming toast on Friday. We ordered a new one. Apparently, they make webcams with varying camera angles now. No, not camera. It's field of angle of view or field of view. Whatever. It goes um, from 50 to 120. This thing is 110. So it, like, got everything back yeah. here. You could see my mail thing back here, which has addresses on it. Um, I have... We have cleaned up significantly because I got all upset last night about it, but there is stuff on, piled on the floor behind us because between Christmas decorations and still finishing putting away stuff from Small Business Saturday... Though I am going to hook it up and again to see if it, how it looks. Because you'll notice the angle of this camera, you see much more. But the, the field of view for our lap, her laptop's camera is wider than our old webcam. Yes. We're going to figure it out. There may you be get some... bandy pictures, though. There's a bandy! This might be worth using the, the the new one just for this. Well, and I think maybe using the new one might be worth it if we can make the background not look like... It looked horrible last night. And You, you want me to do something stupid? Horrible what? Stop the video, put the new one on, record, and ask people what they think about it, and then go back to the rest of the intro. Um, I don't know about that. We'll, we'll, we'll play with it and we'll see. Um, so, and I have a dog in my lap. Hello, beautiful. So it just kind of, and it, it, yesterday we ended up just not being able to film. It is what it is. It happens. I hope you all had a very good week last week. We had a pretty good week. A little bit busy. My Wednesday was super busy. I mean, I didn't stitch at all, but Nina Workdale meeting was on Wednesday last week. I am officially the Needlework Medina Needlework Guild president. I have the panel. Great. I'm going to get hit with that thing eventually. Maybe not. So, um, comment below. Who thinks my dumb butt is going to get say something that's going to make her seriously contemplate bopping me upside the head with that thing? Anyway, moving along. Da -da -da -da. So, yeah. So that was good. So that was our week. I mean, it was uneventful. I was busy, but it was fairly uneventful. I was just busy. Yeah, I finally got somebody from the corporate office who actually knows how to speak English and talk with people instead of just barking orders and go, 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 my command. Blah, blah, blah. This guy actually explained the ideas. How they be sometimes. Some? It's how they be sometimes. Okay. Okay. Well, why don't we give a shout out to all of our commenters. Jeep girl, us stitches, a uh, craft cave with the wedding, Andrea, Teresa, hanging by a thread, and Lynn, and I am so sorry. I see hanging by a thread, and I literally think of the time I had a really thin piece of wire, and it moved quickly and cut me. So literally, that's what just ran through my head. When you said you were hanging by a thread, I, I could just see your fingers coming off. Oh. Speaking of hanging by a thread, Gina, one package of tin cans down. <laughs> My parents were in Cincinnati over the week, last week, and there's a grocery store down there called Jungle Gems. They carry the Australian cookies. They carry everything. They carry so much stuff. I love going in there because... 
I can find really unique. I like getting a lot of the unique passes that you can get down there. What? Okay, when I say everything, I mean everything from everywhere. Yes, they, they have, have a section for most of the countries on this planet. Yes, they have giant bottles of soy sauce, which I do actually like getting too when we go down there. Um, and but they, in particular, they carry Tim Tams, which are like an Australian cookie. Their candy section is Delicious. choice paralysis of sugar coma. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. So. Most people don't get sugar comas. Yeah. I forgot how weird. Well, anyways. But it's, it's, so mom and dad were in there, so they got me some Tim Tams because they know I like them. <clears throat> and one pack of beer. Okay. So why don't we move on to Whips. Whips is not going to be very long because we both only have one project each. Okay. Monkey presses button. Yep. <laughs> Whips. I'm doing I'm doing I'm doing I'm doing I'm doing I'm doing Why do you say she's going to hit me? I'm not kidding. Yes. Ink circles, elemental dragons, fire! You got fire! Are you, you doing any of the daily dead. stuff? Daily 30 stuff with this? No? No. That's fine. I just thought I'd ask. Literally, it's... I'm not stitching enough right now. Plus, the thing I wanted to do with it, they're not doing. Oh, um, tomorrow we need to talk... We, we need to set up my Facebook thingy for that. But let's oh, yeah. Go. We need to get you set up. That's super easy. We can do it in five minutes. <laughs> no, not tonight. I got too much stuff to do. Okay. Um, that is this is gunmetal. It is wait. sixteen count hand dyed by the Slowbox farm. Yay! Someone loves my fabric. Okay, so we are doing. So I am doing the cookie cutter challenge for December. I am doing. I am working on One Nation by Bygone Stitches. In case you I think I just found the use for the wide angle lens. I, that's why I said the wide angle lens could be productive for us if we can just make it so that the piles of junk aren't visible in the background. Because I don't want that visible in the background. I don't care what anybody says, whether it bothers them or not. It bothers me to see that. Okay. To see that in my house. So. Let me clarify that. So, and I got a bug up my butt at the beginning of the month about finishing this. I have the closure of this bottom stripe. And there's a double, it's, it's a double line on the bottom. Like here on the top. And it's done. I there finished the whole white stripe last week. And as you can see, I'm almost done with the red stripe. Um, I honestly don't know what my stitch count is on this from where I was last week. Because trying to keep track of stitch counts for um, the farming game I'm in, I can't remember the name of it right now, which is like 100 blocks, 100 or 200 chunks. Um, the first The first level of letters for Daily 30 was 200 blocks, and then with Survival of the Stitchiest, it kind of varies. I just had to, like, simplify, and keeping track of, like, my running total for week to week was too much. Sorry. I do apologize. I know some people like to know that, but um, I do know that I have finished level one of the cookie cutters. That got me through to the letter, through the letter N. So, O-P- you didn't explain what you were doing. Did you explain the alphabet soup? I don't know. Well, I, my cookie cutters are alpha, all the letters of the alphabet. And I was told by somebody that it was a genius idea. <laughs> by the way, uh, what did you learn about New Jersey? I'll get to that. So, I finished through level N. And o, P, R, S, and T are the level 2 cookie cutters. So, those five are the level 2 cookie cutters. Now... Obviously, there is no state with a letter Q. Oh, Simon, poor Simon. Hi, buddy. I don't know that he wants 
yeah, that's probably a better position for him. Um, there, obviously, there is no letter Q in all the 50 states. That's the only letter that is not used. J is the least used letter. Yes, J is the least used letter because it is only let used in New Jersey. There are two. There's, well, okay, so J and Z. J is only used once in the J Jersey, in New Jersey. Random crap that I have found, I have discovered. <laughs> so that's my random fun fact. I, Why think of you and everybody wants to be friends all of a sudden? And I actually discovered this because I was trying to find the letter J while I was doing my levels. Because what I'm doing is posting, you know, the wide view of this. And then for each letter, I'll find it and show it up close and snap it up close. Um, I've been trying to use the red letters because they are vastly more visible when I take a picture. I did New Jersey in white because it's a red line. And I wanted to do our, the states we were born in and the state we live in, because I was born in the state we live in. Um, I just realized that this is backwards. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. This is going to be backwards. Um, since New Jersey is on a red line, it got to be white. That was kind of a challenge to take a picture of. So I'm sitting there going, there's got to be another J. Because it'll be easier to take a picture. There's not another J. <laughs> so that's the random thing I learned about the 50 states of America. There's only one letter J. You are overly friendly right now, Sight v -Line. He certainly is. He's sitting in my tribal. Um, that is all the whips we have. Um... I did not get a ton of work done on the on his blanket because no, I just didn't. Because you were really flipping busy. Well, yeah, I was really flipping busy, and I like to crochet when we play D and D um, because it's a little bit easier. And we didn't play D and D last week, so all three games got canceled for different reasons. His games got canceled. Well, we share one game and that's three games total. Well, now we share two. If we can get it done, done. If we can get it done in time, <laughs> we've just joined a second one. So, all right. Um, so, uh, I'm working on wrapping up the letter T cookie cutter. And then the next cookie cutter is 400 stitches. Would that, would that be for plants? Talking about the next one? Yeah, we'll talk about that in plants then. Okay, moving on to the so, next section. So, um, I do have a little bit of haul. Okay. So it's going to be a short haul section, but we'll do a little bit of haul. Okay. Haul. Y'all. Okay. You have no haul. <laughs> I have haul. I'm not special. Actually, I have so much crud right now, I don't need any. I did an ornament ex or a gift exchange, an ornament exchange. Mine was a little bit bigger than an ornament. Um, in the Bluegrass Stitchers group, um, which is the group Jennifer, who is the Bluegrass Stitcher on Floss Tube, runs and started. Um, so this was the cute little ornament I got from Alyssa. I think it's absolutely adorable. And it's going to go on the tree. So cute. Okay. And then I picked up some crochet thread. The two purple, two solid purples, and then a variegated purple. Sorry, the laptop camera stinks for color. Yeah, it does. It always has. Um, picked them up from the guild meeting. I have several other balls upstairs of crochet thread that are pinks and purples, and I think there's white. I have an idea for these. I gotta see if it exists. So, and then I got these really cute scissors. Ice cream cones. 
jelly beans, and cupcakes. And yes, I have more and I can order more. So these, um, yes, I can order these. I don't remember what the cost is off the top of my head. If you are interested, because somebody once upon a time, several months ago, did actually ask me if I could get these. I don't know if you ever got them from somewhere else because I couldn't get them at that time. But. So. That's it. That's all. Bumper tree thing? Oh, wait. He made a point of getting up. And then I forgot about it. And then he forgot about it. And I was trying to be funny and be like, that's it, that's all, and wait, waiting for him to go, no, that's not! These are Tim Tams. One package is already gone, the other one's in the freezer. Mm -hmm. Odds of this package lasting through the night? Actually, they will, because these are not cheap cookies. Um, but these are Tim Tams. Sorry, I ruined your joke, my brain slide. <laughs> it's okay, that's it for haul. We're going to go into plans and announcements. This is a super short video tonight. <laughs> plans and announcements. Yes, today's video is short. I just, with only having one project, it's short. Yeah. It is what it is. And I don't have any plans because I don't know what the heck my life's going to be like. Yeah. Work, work is being work. That's being weird. Everything else is being weird. I'm, I'm gonna try to get a little, couple more stitches in on drag on the elemental dragon fire because it's fun. Otherwise, make up. My mother likes to tell me I'm 100% my father. You are not. I have one trait from my mother. Oh, I got one. I get the hiccups when I eat bread or carbs. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And we had carbs for dinner, so I'm probably going to hiccup occasionally. <laughs> so, so, what are my plans? Well, I know for a fact that this will get me the end of the level... Two cookie cutter the T and then the level three cookie cutter is 400 stitches now this will only get me that cookie I do know that it will get me at least that cookie because I know that this up to here will be another hundred stitches block so um, and then there will be like, there is over a hundred stitches between here and here. And then the whole thing is 400 stitches wide. So I do know that it will be the level three, one of the level three cookies. Um, it's going to be a little bit more than the level three cookie. So once I finish the level three cookie, I will put it on the December dash to a finish and because there's no stitch count requirement for the dash to a finish. It's just got to be something that you're going to finish. And you can't, like, I couldn't put this up there half done and then not finish it. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you put, some, if you put something in the December dash, you got to finish it before you can put something else up there. So, the whatever's left will go into the December dash. And then I will finish out, I don't know what I'm going to do. I have two options, three options. Show me a project I can find you a cookie cutter for it here. Give me a minute. I'm crazy. I know. The one option I'm fairly certain has the one option I can't get any more than one cookie cutter out of it because I think the only thing on strutting Tom is the turkey therefore 
I can really only get a turkey cookie cutter out of him. Um. Does he have pronounced feathers? He does. Because they make feather cookie cutters. Yeah, so that would be two. I'm not even sure how many stitches he has left on him. Um, my other thought was the Bent Creek Santa's hats. The Polly Jolly, it's something long. I just call it Santa's hat. That has presents and ornaments and a Santa hat. I want to say there's one other thing on it. But I'm pretty sure that's close enough to a finish that it may, I may only need those three cookie cutters. The other option is to grab an ornament that needs finished and find cookie cutters for that. I mean, it's very easy to find Christmas themed cookie cutters. Well, yeah, and not all of my ornaments are Christmas themed, but. And some of my ornaments have letters and numbers on them, and I probably have a few letters that I haven't used that I could use. Yes, dear. If it's an ornament, can you just do a, a cookie cutter of an ornament since it's an ornament stitch? Well, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to blindside you. I didn't mean to break your brain. I mean, I'm just trying to diversify my options here. I know can what I have. Start? I know what I have. I know what I have as far as ornaments that need to be finished. As far as ornaments that need to be finished. What I discovered was I really need to pull out an ornament, all of its flosses, and focus on finishing that ornament before I go to another. So, I do know that I have a couple that need finished that have words on them that I might be able to play the letters thing into, numbers, could possibly play that into it. So... I have a few options. A lot of it's going to depend on how many stitches I can get out of the project. Because once I finish the flag, I will need two more 400 cookie cutters and one 500 cookie cutter. So, there we go. We'll figure it out. I'll, I will, I'll, I'll figure it out. I just haven't... Will you tomorrow? I haven't put that much thought into it. It is only December 13th, and I have until the 31st to finish these. Save until the reciprocal. Okay. So, yep. I have until the reciprocal. That's how my brain works, by the way. Yeah. I mean... Oh, comment below. How do you like the haircut? Um, the other thing that far as goes, as far as plans goes, um, we will talk about our 2023 plans coming up. Well, this is kind of plans and announcements. 2023 plans, we're going to get their own video. We'll do a whip parade and then talk about plans. My thinking is to, like, as we're showing the whip, give a general overview of what our plan is for it for next year. Okay. By the way, I have a really good idea about that. Okay. Film that on the 23rd of December when I have off of work. That is probably my optimal idea because my... Because it's going to take me a couple hours to get all my stuff together. I don't know how long it's going to take My take stuff you. is all sitting in that trunk in there. The thing with that is... So, the, the reason we're going to pre-film pre this, as we, sp as we talked about last week, if you didn't see last week's video, go back and watch it. <laughs> um, <laughs> my nieces are visiting the week between Christmas and New Year's I don't know if we're going to have a chance to film on the 26th if we do you'll have a regular floss tube and there will be an extra episode sometime before December 31st if we don't that's going to be the floss tube that gets popped up in place of that week's floss tube. So, and trying to film it as close to as when we're going to post it is my goal. Okay. So, there we go. So, I do have my whipboard, whip go board set for this year. Um, 
what you were talking about with the daily 30 thing for next year they released the thing for give us your declared whips for the yearly because what daily 30 does is you declare a whip <laughs> to do the yearly you declare whatever the number of whips are that you want this next year it's going to be four this year it was three 2023 it's going to be four um and then they'll release the actual theme of the yearly after being able to declare your whips closes so right now we have the time to declare our whips if we declare whips and decide not to participate in next year's yearly no penalty mm -hmm. nothing off anybody's at anybody's back yes i almost said the other word somebody's gonna catch it <laughs> And other people are going to rewind and go, wait, what? <laughs> um, if we don't declare whips and we decide after the theme is released, hey, we want to do that, there is a penalty associated with that. So what I've told Joe. Do it early. Well, basically, because that's the last couple of years, that's what my friends and I have really, that are in Daily 30, kind of the approach we took. We're like, well, we'll just declare whips, and then if we decide not to do it, who cares? It's not a problem. My problem was actually finding four pieces I actually want to stitch on. Yes, and your Fabric for Liberty Angel is in the basement. Done. Um, in case anybody, this is from a while ago, so many people might not know. Liberty Angel is something I started back when she started Lady in the Flag. Lady of the Flag. We started it on September 11th. 2020. No. 2019. Was it was not 2019. It was 2018. Yeah. Um. Maybe it was I got I got a decent way into it, and then I I did the flagpole, the part of the flag, and then I did part of the uh, wing, and went. Uh, uh. No, it was 2019 because 2021 was the 20th anniversary, and I decided I wanted it done by September of 2021. To put in the needle art show because our needle art show is usually the, either the weekend prior or the weekend after September 11th, and being so close, I wanted it. Anyways, sorry. Um, kind of actually happened to the project. Um, I started stitching the wings, and the wings disappeared into the fabric. The colors were a lot closer than I thought they were going to be, and it literally made the wings not visible at all. So I completely scrapped the project. Yeah. So now I'm redoing it on much darker fabric. Because yeah. I actually want to finish the dang thing. Yeah. So that became my fourth. That is the fifth. Can I say I told you so about the fabric color? Yes. You already have 30 fucking times. Oops, sorry. I said ducking. I swear. <laughs> All right. Spiel? Let's do the spiel because I think this section is longer than the entirety rest of the gloss do. Okay. Please like, comment, subscribe. Bell notification thing in your bobby, the whole YouTube spiel. And in case somebody doesn't know, the reason why I call it the YouTube spiel is because it's kind of what YouTube actually tells everybody to say in order for the algorithm to like you. Because those are the things you need to do in order for the YouTube algorithm to show your video on the main page when somebody's scrolling through and they don't they look for something. Yep. When you're when you're scrolling through YouTube and you get cross stitch videos that pop up, the way those pop up is number of subscribers the channel has and its activity level. Activity level, which is comments, likes, shares, bell notifications. Yep. Okay. Well. All right. Well, we will see you guys next week. Bye.